All right, guys, welcome to another episode of uh, Teardown Garage. Um, this is going to be a really short episode. This was uh, one of the guys over at the Ford Barn Forum was asking about the camshaft. So I thought I would do just a quick little uh, inspection and evaluation as opposed to an, a removal video. So that's what we're going to be doing today. Obviously, the cam's still in there. I haven't quite gotten to getting it out yet. I'm still working on the valve springs so we'll get there but <clears throat> um this is her it's, a little, it's gonna be a little bit dark just because it's inside of there but uh yeah you know let's get into it all right so i went through i uh, took a scuff pad to all the lobes get them as cleaned up as i could and uh one of the main things I'm noticing, we've got some pitting going on, which is never fun. So it limits our possibilities in the future. You can see that. So I was going to go through and write out a dialogue for all the things, reasons, causes, etc., about pitting. And I found this guy, all well, this website, I should say, called tribeology-abc.com. This dude does a killer job of explaining this stuff. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to set you up with a lobe view. See if we can find one that's a little more prominent than another. That'll work. Okay, so I'm just going to read you verbatim what he wrote because it's perfect. So we don't need any more info. So here we go. Tribology-abc.com. <clears throat> Pitting is a surface fatigue phenomenon occurring in concentrated rolling and sliding contacts. Particles break out of affected areas, leaving surfaces pockmarked with scattered holes. Progressive micro-pitting, also known as spalling, keep that in mind for the future, good term to know, occurs when pits coalesce and form irregular craters, cavities, and cracks, as can be seen in just right there, which is interesting. So pitting or spalling typically occurs at 60 degrees from the top of the nose, all right? This can be explained by considering the Hertzian contact pressure and the film thickness as a function of the cam angle. And I will make sure to put up a Hertzian contact pressure chart or gauge or whatever right after this. But the large particles that Pits produced are caught in the oil filter or settle at the bottom of the pan. Inspection of the oil filter or the bottom of the pan may be adequate to, to detect the iron particles. You know, use a magnet so that way you can get a, a good sampling. But we just run right down the line. We'll just do a cycle of each of these to get an idea of, see, you got a little micro pitting there and there. Now this view is from the flywheel side of it, FYI. So we're going backwards. Okay, and this one. Now granted, this engine is, what, 90 years old, just shy of it? So wear and tear is gonna happen. Hell, my 03 Blazer's got wear and tear on it that's worse than this. So with a grain of salt, you have to consider it. It's doing well for its age, but it might be time for either repairs or replacements. So um, up next, we will go through what our repair options are, if any, or what our replacement options are. We'll dive into it. 